Welcome and welcome to the Late Late Show. We hope you had a nice day. Of course, today was Veterans Day and all of us here at the show would like to extend our gratitude to everyone who has served in the armed forces. We, we appreciate everything that you do to keep all of us safe. My father was in the Royal Air Force back home. Dad, you're, you're, Reggie, your dad served in the Air, Air Force, Force, right? Yeah. 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 It's an Go important day, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it is. My, I mean, I wouldn't be who I am without uh, the Air Force. So He wouldn't be who he is without the Air Force. I wouldn't be who I am without the Air Force. And Ian, would you'd pretty much be the same without the Air Force. Same dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we thank your dad, we thank everybody else out there for their service. We absolutely do. Um, we really, really do. It's not taken for granted in any way whatsoever. Now, I want to take a second to address something from yesterday's show. Uh, it was Tim's 50th birthday yesterday, so we started out the show, we, we, we wished him a happy birthday, we went, we went pretty big on it, you know. Um, <laughs> and then today... I came into work and I found out that it wasn't your birthday at all. Today is Tim's birthday. <laughs> what? What happened? First of all, I was so touched and just was, uh, you know, like, uh, well, you're not going to look a gift horse in the mouth like that. People are loving on you. What are you going to do? Say, no, you know? And I knew that also it shows after midnight, right? So it potentially... Ah. I was oh, like, so I was doing damn. the math. Very and smart. Then, also, if I would have said that, that would have been kind of a bummer for you. You'd have to be like, you'd be embarrassed, right? I think. I'd be all right. <laughs> you'd be cool. Oh. <laughs> right. I think I'd be like, I think I'd be like, oh, well, we'll just do, we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, next time, next year, I will. I will next say year, that. I'll make sure to to wish you happy birthday the day before. And we'll see how it plays out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thank you again. Well, listen, oh, yeah. happy birthday, Tim. We love you. We yes. really, really do. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We have guys. a fantastic show planned for you tonight. Later, we'll be chatting with the always charming Max Greenfield, and we have a performance from Ash and Niall Horan that you don't want to miss. But first, let's look at some of the headlines. And this morning, President Trump made his first public appearance in six days. He's basically been in hiding since shortly after the election, and that explains why you've been having such a great week. Um, <laughs> but Trump, yeah, he finally came out of his hole. And yes, I can confirm, he saw his shadow. <laughs> which means it's going to be six more weeks of voter fraud claims. Um, <laughs> it's his first public appearance in days, so I guess Donald Trump is capable of quarantining. Seriously, he was out in public so much more when he was contagious with coronavirus. <laughs> and Trump is still unwilling to concede to President-elect Joe Biden. Last night, Trump tweeted, people will not accept this rigged election. To be clear, he's not talking about People magazine, is he? It's not People magazine. Because the only thing People is going to accept is an in-depth interview with Kristen Chenoweth, where she gets real about faith, family and all the Broadway drama you can handle. <laughs> I mean, he's saying people won't accept it. People will be fine. If people can accept Taco Bell retiring the Mexican pizza, which is an outrage, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they can accept this. <laughs> Meanwhile, despite the president's claims, election officials in dozens of states representing both political parties have declared that there was no widespread election fraud. Trump's legal team officially responded with, nah, -uh, there was. <laughs> it's hard to know who to believe here. On the one hand, you've got the word of dozens of bipartisan election officials. On the other hand, you've got the word of Trump's lawyer. All the networks! <laughs> But after facing pressure from Republicans, the state of Georgia announced earlier today that there will be a full hand recount of the presidential race. A full hand recount, or, as we call it here in California, an artisanal booth-to-table recount. <laughs> There's no indication this will change the outcome, but, hey, why not force a bunch of people to spend days indoors together during a spiking pandemic? I mean, what harm can it do? We're all having fun. <laughs> Trump's behind by 14,000 votes in Georgia. You know how big of a screw-up it would take to get something like that wrong? 
That would be like trying to book an event at the Four Seasons Hotel, but instead booking it at Four Seasons <laughs> Total Landscaping. <laughs> I mean, that story was four days ago, and it's still funny to me every <laughs> single day. Sometimes I sit and I think about it, and I imagine the behind the scenes. <laughs> The rigmarole, can you imagine? Can you imagine what it was like? It was, it was between a, a, a porn shop and a crematorium. Yeah. It would have been funny without that, and they gave us that too. I know. <laughs> and then, and then they were like, this is already so funny, who should go and speak? I know. <laughs> but Joe Biden's national vote total continues to grow. Right now, in the popular vote, Biden has just surpassed a five million vote lead over Trump. Can you believe that? Woo. Yeah. Woo. I believe it. Oh, yeah. That's right. Five million illegal votes. <laughs> All total, Biden holds 50.8% of the popular vote, the highest percentage for any presidential challenger since FDR in 1932. How times have changed. Back then, FDR told us that we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Now, Donald Trump tells us we have nothing to fear but voter fraud, immigrants, Muslims, free health care, minimum wage, and let's not forget, bad water pressure. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Ian, what else do we have to fear? Anything else to fear? You, you know when you're having a conversation with someone or a couple people and they bring up a movie and you just pretend you've seen that movie to keep the conversation going? I know exactly. I do yeah. it nightly. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you how much I associate with how you're feeling. <laughs> so I'll tell you what Jay Leno told me to do. So we, before our first show, we shot a sketch with Jay Leno that he was in, and he was such a great guy. And he went to me, I said, look, I said, Jay, you know, you did this for 30 years, any advice? And he went, here's the thing, here's the thing. You're never going to be able to watch all the movies, right? You're never going to do it. He said, so what they do, he goes, they'll send you a screener, he said, just forward it, forward it for like a minute and then just stop and wherever it is, watch that scene. And then when you're talking to them, that you go, ah, oh, tell you the scene I love. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, I love that scene in the gas station. And they go, wow, he must have seen it if he liked that scene in the gas station. <laughs> Although it is a little weird that 50.8% of the vote is considered a solid lead. Is it like in regular life, if someone came up to you and said, yeah, about 50.8% of the people who work here like you, you'd be like, well, I must be a complete ass. <laughs> <laughs> and we wanted to show you this. The website loser.com has just been updated. Now, if you visit the site, you'll be immediately redirected to Donald Trump's Wikipedia page. Nice. Yeah. This really has to sting for Trump. This is a big sting. He's even lost the support of trolls. <laughs> Loser.com, what a website. It sounds like an insult you'd hear at school in the early 2000s. And where'd you get those bedazzled, low-rise jeans? Loser.com. <laughs> Hey, Ian, where'd you get that moustache? Loser.com. <laughs> no, I was, you, I was waiting for you to do one back. I thought you'd be in on the fun. I thought you'd be in on the fun. I thought you'd be... <laughs> Much like this moustache, my trust in you will take another two months to grow back. <laughs> oh, my lords. I can't stress enough that I thought you'd be in on the fun. <laughs> Go on, say one back to me. Pick one about me for loser.com. Go on. Where can I stream cats? Loser.com. <laughs> oh! Is that how it? That's quite a fun game, actually. Yeah, that's kind of fun. It's quite yeah. a fun game. I love yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. You know where you can stream cats? Wow! All the network! <laughs> 
And finally, we wanted to show you this. A town in Japan has found a rather unusual way to scare away bears. And these bears have been bothering the town residents. They're using a motion sensor device that they're calling a monster wolf robot. Here it is here. Although it really does, it really does stop them too. The way it works, the bear takes one look at the monster wolf robot and just dies laughing. <laughs> I would have loved to have been in that town council meeting when someone's like, mm, spitballing here. I know we got a problem with the bears. Uh, anyone considered a monster wolf robot? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, it's a monster wolf. Put it up on a thing. You know, motion sensor, and they're like. I was going to suggest a siren, but yeah, let's go with Monster Wolf Robot. <laughs> yeah. It's customizable too. If you want to scare everyone away, you can change the Monster Wolf Robot to emit an even crazier noise like this. Wow! All the networks! Wow! All the networks!